Hello? Hello, ha? Waida? Oh, Nadia. Uh, tomorrow is our party, right? Uh, so, let's go uh, at Zayin and buy um, ingredients for our cake. Oh, yes, yes, sure. Uh, we will meet tomorrow at 5am, okay? Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hello? Uh, is this Muslim Consumers Protection of Malaysia PPIM? Uh, okay, uh, I am Nadia. I want to make a complaint about a cheese product that I have bought. Uh, yes, uh, I, I bought it yesterday but I think uh, this product contains some ingredients. Uh, non halal ingredients that is pork but but they cover the ingredients with some stickers yes uh, i am very sure about it okay uh okay okay then uh, then you will you will make further investigation on this okay yes but i think you can find it on the supermarket okay thank you Facebook, they conduct 
needed to exchange the permission. Islamic-based standards, verification for Muslim products and services in Muslim countries. Also present was Emirates Society for Consumer Protection, Jamie Hassan Said al -Kentri. We want to raise awareness on products that follow Islamic principles as now there are many products that contain gelatin from pigs or from animals not slaughtered according to Islamic procedures. We receive a complaint and report it to the Ministry immediately. The product was put in the halal section and still there. We can also work together to promote the ISI 2020 and convince all the Middle East countries to conduct the standards. From this scenario, we can learn that consumers should be aware about their rights. As we know, consumers have the power, which is consumers can complain to the authorities in case of fault, damage of the goods, improperly described, and dangerous goods and services, as it is unfair trade and credit practices. So all of these are infringed in Consumer Protection Act 1999. Consumer Protection Act 1999 is to determine all the goods and services offered or provided to customers for personal, household, and domestic is fair, not misleading, false representations, and safe to use. Consumers must know their rights, which is the rights have the basic needs, the rights to obtain information, the rights to save goods and services, the rights to make choice, the rights to voice out opinion, the rights to save environment. In this scenario, we can refer to CPA Consumer Protection Act 1999 in Section 9A, which is no person should be engaged to conduct that. In relation to goods is misleading or deceptive or is likely to mislead or deceive the public as to the nature, manufacturing process, characteristics, suitability for the purpose, availability, or quantity of the goods. We can see that in this case, the producer is trying to cheat on consumers by hiding the fact about their product by not showing one of the ingredients that contains in their products. These issues arise because the producer is trying to mislead the consumers about the truth of the product that is actually a non-halal product. As those top stories in these hours, I am the top reporter in the NSC. I am Harunisa Begum binti Omar Qasim. I am just not secure freedom. I am defend what people deserve.